Link uh, booth with Neil and Ollie, and uh, I just like the name, and I came over and asked these guys, so what is Thin Thing Link? Well, Thing Link lets you make your images interactive, so if you're a blogger, now your images can be much more than just JPEGs. You can put in video, audio, Wikipedia entries, links to your social touch points like Twitter and Facebook, all inside the image, so the image becomes a platform for content, makes it much more interesting and engaging for people. That sounds kind of fun. So how do I do it? Do I have to know like CSS and all that kind of nonsense to get it to work on my blog? Uh, no, it's just a small snippet of code you put in the description bar uh, or, or a plugin you download. D okay, so if I use WordPress, it's just yeah. a plugin then? It's a plugin on WordPress. It depends a bit which plugin platform you use. But on WordPress, it's a plugin, yes. Okay, well, I only care about WordPress, but <laughs> it's all about me. So um, maybe you could show us, Ollie, a little bit. Uh, Steve will pan the video down here and show us what it, what it looks like. Yeah, so basically you, we allow you to put these dots on top of your images t or tags and they can link to anywhere. In this case it's links to where you can buy this, cert this item from. Uh, but it's much more than that. It can also contain music. So this is a SoundCloud track so you can listen to what the, what the instrument sounds like. And here you, here's another tag, you can buy it. Um, then you can also put video inside, it looks like this. So you can link to YouTube videos and it start playing inside the inside the image. You don't have to go anywhere. You can have Facebook like buttons in, inside, Facebook follow, Facebook follow uh, buttons, uh, videos, yeah. And the sharing yeah. too. It's really cool because you can share each image with one click to Twitter, Facebook, and uh, email, and you can also embed each image, so it's very viral. It looks like you, you should probably use these things in moderation though. Like if I went to a site that had as much as you got popping up, that'd probably drive me out of my mind. But Well, you know what's funny? We're in an environment where people are accustomed to multimedia happening at the same time. The great thing with ThingLink is you hover your mouse over the image and you have choice. You don't have to hit them all. You, you basically engage with the tags that you enjoy, the content that you're interested in. And I noticed that before I hover over it, there's nothing. It looks like a regular image, so it's not like it's dancing on screen and annoying me unless I ask it to uh, give me more information. It, well, that looks pretty cool. How, how much does Thing, Thing Link cost? Thing Link is free right now, and and it's always going to be free for people. We are going to in, introduce paid versions next year so that we can help pay the cost of the platform. But right now, we believe everyone should be able to engage with interactive images, and that's our, that's our position, and we're going to make those tools available to everybody. So, go so to, go if, to you've ar Link. if you've already got it, it's not going to start costing you money, is it? No. It'll always be free if you've got it. You can always opt up for more features, uh, more tools, uh, and, and more ways to use it. All right. Thank you very much. That was really interesting.